<laughs> this tutorial I'm going to show you how to reformat your computer. You'll be able to tell those IT guys, I can do this myself. I'm not paying you a hundred bucks to do it anymore because Mr. Shadow's shown me how it ain't really rocket science. Alright, let's go. The first thing we need to do is go into the BIOS and check that it'll boot from the CD-ROM. So to do that we need to restart the computer. When the screen goes black in those few seconds we need to press the delete key on the keyboard. You can hit it two, three, four, five times just to be sure. And this will bring us into the BIOS. Press delete to enter setup. We're now in the BIOS. This is nothing to be frightened of. So we go into our advanced. We press enter into advanced BIOS features. Now here where you can see first boot device, second boot device, third boot device. This one's set to boot from the CD-ROM, which is what you want. If it doesn't, if yours says to boot from floppy, use your arrow keys, go down to first boot device, then you can go enter, and now you see the different options you have. See with the little black dot here, means this is set from CD-ROM. If yours is set on floppy, use your arrow keys to bring it down to CD-ROM, and then move enter to accept. So now you're set to boot from the CD-ROM. Now we press F10 to save and exit. So on your keyboard, press F10. It asks you to save Y for yes, so Y on your keyboard. And then press enter. You've now set it to boot from the CD-ROM. So what you now do is put your copy of XP, whatever it is operating system that you've got, into your CD-ROM tray, reboot your computer, that's restarted again, and it will now boot from the CD-ROM. Windows is setting up the files now. This can take a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to hit the pause button here on my recorder. Alright, Windows is still loading the files. Alright, here we go. To set up Windows XP, press Enter. There's a license agreement and stuff like that. F8, I agree. Windows is now searching for any previous Windows of Microsoft. Alright, there we go, there's the C drive, Windows Professional. To repair, do R, but we're not doing a repair, we're doing a complete reformat. So we just press escape. Now, to set up Windows XP on the selected item, press enter. If you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to put it on top of the copy you've already got. That's no good. If you want to create a petition, click C. But for this demonstration, we're just going to delete the hard drive. So we press D. That's it. We're wiping. We get a warning here going, hey, you do this, you're completely gone. So I hope that you've backed up anything that you wanted to keep. Because once we've done this, there's no going back. So to delete this petition, let's press Enter. And again, the final sort of warning, to delete this petition, press L. And that's it. To set up Windows XP, we now press Enter. Now I normally just do a quick reformat and I do the NTFS one. So using my arrow keys, up I go, click enter and away we go. The setup is now reformatting. That's it. If I change my mind now, it's too late. <laughs> so make sure you back up anything that you want to keep before you do this. Alright, I'm just going to hit the pause now. We don't need to wait for this. Now it's setting up the files. 
This could take a few minutes, so again, I'll hit the pause. All right, we're almost there. Please wait while Windows initializes your Windows XP configuration. You can hit the enter key 